The business community has a strong reaction to the president's withdrawal from the Paris Agreement. Many prominent companies, including IBM, ExxonMobil, and Amazon, support the accord. Both Tesla CEO Elon Musk and Disney's Bob Iger say they will leave the president's business advisory council because of the president's move. General Electric CEO Jeff Immelt expressed his disappointment. He tweeted, quote, climate change is real. Industry must now lead and not depend on government. CBS News financial contributor Melody Hobson is in Washington. Melody, good morning. I know you've been talking to a lot of CEOs, a lot of business leaders. What effect do you think this will have on our economy? That is unclear. I've had the opportunity to interface probably with somewhere in the neighborhood of two dozen business leaders from around the world, very, very high level executives, and they expressed a lot of dismay, some disgust, some dismay, some anger. But overall, they were unclear about the effect on the economy because you had to countervailing forces of new jobs being created in new, ener new energy areas, as well as this waning of some of the old sectors. Melody, the headline in one German newspaper said, America first, Earth last. Number one, what do you think the message, what message do you think it sends to the world? And have you heard about any upside here? So the message to the world is not good. I've asked specifically CEOs from India to Europe to China what they thought, as well as the American CEOs, and they said this is bad for the American brand. One foreign leader said to me, who was on the board of a big auto company, he said, listen, it calls into question your ability to renegotiate anything. And it especially calls into question our president's message last yeah. week in NATO about honoring our commitments to NATO. So yeah. this is not a good thing. Uh, the people that I talk to, the business leaders I talk to, are worried about America's influence in major trade organizations and major um, international institutions around the world where we have had a leading role and an influential role. Will that be diminished to the detriment of America? Absolutely. So again, another CEO said to me, we're just ceding leadership to China. Mm -hmm. It's hard to imagine that we're just letting them take the mantle right from us to pick it up and lead on things like climate change, which were our issues, the treaty that and the 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 the, uh, the uh, issue that we brought to the world stage. So this is not a good thing. What about the argument that this will keep coal jobs here in the U.S.? This is really a challenging argument. These, not, this conversation around coal is really perplex, perplexing. So I check with the Bureau of Labor Statistics. As of February, there were 50,000 coal jobs in America. But if you looked at just jobs related to wind energy alone, there were 80,000, and that number is growing. Coal peaked years ago. Mm -hmm. And because of cheaper natural, natural gas, as well as other resources, this is not me in any way not being concerned about coal miners and their, their future. But to hang on to that as a narrative is just wrong. Mm -hmm. Melody Hobson, thank you so much. Thank you.